from last year to, to this year, I, I think I will keep what I have been been doing, which is like trying to improve as much as I can, you know, trying to, to seek the limit. But uh, I think something that uh, changed, it probably the other is trying to beat me more than ever. So uh, I think I will have uh, very tough competitors here, but how I said, I will be just keep pushing, doing my best and see what's happened. I think we'll be very excited. To be honest, I don't feel any pressure at all, but I am quite scared. Obviously, when you race all the guys that are in the finals, you know that pretty much anyone can win. I think it's going to be close between a lot of drivers, because our level is also very similar, so it's going to depend on, on our mind, because we, we have to be focused on the, on the championship, and that's one of the most important things, in my opinion. It's the hardest team competition. The drivers here are the best in the world. There's more pressure because your teammates are counting on you. One mistake and your race could be over. If you notice, you can shine on the most demanding stage. This is the Manufacturer Series. Race one of the Manufacturer's Cup here at the Brands Hatch Grand Prix circuit. About to get underway, five laps of the track. And it is going to be very, very exciting. In World Tour 1 in Paris is about to get underway. BMW on pole position. Who will lead the way down towards the first corner? Racing underway for the 2019 World Tour here in Paris. Held it round the outside. Is he going to? He's still there on the left. That's 2 by 2 now. Coming up to the far right hand. Renault has the line. He might be able to take his place. That oh, he does. Round the outside of Hawthorne. Goes onto the grass on the exit. And they are going to take a very commanding victory here this evening. But race one of the Manufacturer Series in Paris, it's BMW and Nicolas Rubela on top. Well done, Nico. Pretty nice job. Thank well you, thank done. You. Nice. We get ready then to get race two of the Manufacturer Series underway. Fifth gear, one more gear to go, but here comes the hairpin. Heavy on the brakes now, Honda on the inside, Porsche there as well. Oh, Porsche oh. going to take both of them. Absolute sneak job there. For the second time of Martin, can Porsche hold it? No, they can't. Oh. Nissan into second position, brilliant stuff. Oh, and BMW have made a mistake. They've lost a ton of time. Side by side, he's kept it there. And Kokobon just showing why he is the Asia Oceana the regional champion. Look at as well. In the background, free white Tom. Absolutely fantastic stuff. Nissan into the lead of the race. But here is our winner of the second race of the Manufacturing Series, Ryoko Kogiman in the Nissan. What a race from him. Nissan Jimmy about to lead them over the line. Yeah, so here we are, countdown, and it's Mick Hazel that leads us off for race three then in the Manufacturing Series. Rolling start, so nice and easy down to T1. Not so quick in a straight line, losing time. To the oh, Porsche. Mick Hazel! He's off the for the way. first turn! Oh, big drama! Big drama, lots of outbreaking. Mercedes going down, BMW going down. Contact, absolute carnage in the opening couple of corners. The upshot is Aston Martin lead the way. Porsche outbreak themselves. That allows an opportunity for Nissan. Nissan up into fourth place through Spoon Curve. Brilliant stuff, Mick Hazel. Bravo, Renault goes through. Renault goes through at the final chicane. Aston Martin outbreak themselves. And Renault out of the final corner. And less is a drag to the line. They take victory here in race number three. Absolutely brilliant stuff. Koke Lopez on top for Renault. It is go time then. Lights on. And we are ready to go racing the Manufacturer's Series final here at the Circuit of Barcelona. Catalonia is underway. And look at Toyota trying to get ahead of Renault now. Wow, that's close. Brilliant move there from Yamanaka-san. Nissan on the inside of Corvette. Corvette are hugging out to try. This is an absolutely brilliant race. Oh! oh! Nissan goes off. Mercedes Benz are off as well. Absolutely huge drama on lap number three. Renault, the first drivers into the pit. They will be changing their driver. Push as hard as possible on that medium tyres. Porsche on the outside. They go for the switchback. Are they going to get the traction? Yes, they are. Toyota lose out to Porsche. An absolutely blinding move there for Porsche. This is surely going to be the race winning overtake for Aston Martin. Watch Aston Martin the straight line there. It's fast as straight line anyway. Now it's got the six beam. Mitsubishi goes defensive, but it's not far enough over. Aston Martin, you cannot defend that sort of straight line speed. Through goes the Aston Martin there. Up into the lead of the race. And right now, if it ended as is, Aston Martin. Martin would be your champions. 
Uh, nobody thought these guys would be coming away with the victory, but they come round the last corner right now. Drive the line. Aston Martin are your champions here at Paris. What an absolutely fantastic result for them. Yes! Yes! Uh, you know, representing Brazil as a racing driver is very important for me. So I think there's going to be a lot of battles and uh, a lot of fights for the win. My main goal is basically just trying to finish first in the end. Lots of different drivers, lots of depth of talent. It is going to be very, very exciting for this uh, semi-final. Last minute, take a breath, get ready as we, as we go green for the Nations Cup semi-final lane. This is the Nations Cup. Ready to get semi-final A for the World Tour underway here in Paris. Nicolas Rubelard leads the field down towards the first corner for the first time of asking. Now watch this Ferrari in a straight line. He, he looks to the right and says, oh, goodbye. And there goes the Ferrari. Slowly pulling away, Bajan dives to the inside of Yamanaka and he makes the position stick. What a move, mate. But look at the run for the NSX on the exit. He's out on the gravel and Yamanaka says, you know what? I've had enough of this. I'm going in the pits. <laughs> He's going to try and do two in one here. That is absolutely incredible from Adam Brooks. Will he hold it? Meanwhile, Mick is out, out of the final corner. A dominant performance, a great strategy from the German. And he takes victory in semi-final A. Nations Cup champion is about to lead us away for seven laps here at the Fuji for semi-final B. And away they go. That's Portia going very aggressive in the back. Goes up the fist. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Off he goes, fired off onto the corner there. I think he must have lost it on entry, Tom, but that is his race done and dusted straight away. Oh, very closely done they go. Carazza has the inside line. He holds firm, he holds position. Pierre Lenoir, though, says thank you very much. I'll take a position off you there, Martin Grady. And oh. there goes Lenoir. He gets it all kinds of wrong. Punts Daniel Holland wide, he goes off the circuit, and now it's all mismatched through here. Meanwhile, Igor Fraga, he's in the pits again, Jimmy. This is absolute disaster for the Brazilian. He made two pit stops. Oh, my, I can't believe it. Igor Fraga has gone from ninth to fifth position in the space of three laps. That is incredible progress after him a strategy mistake. Jonathan Wald, a flash of the lights, and victory in semi final B here at the Fuji Speedway. It is time then to go racing. The Repercharge race for World Tour 1 here in Paris is about to get underway. We are racing here at the Fisherman's Ranch Circuit. Only the top four drivers are going to be going through into our grand final. So it's everything to play for. All over the jump. Look at that. <laughs> what a spectacle. And still going. No oh. Yamanaka's in the wall. Yamanaka hits the wall. And Brooks got to team. And it's the inside. And and Brooks. Also Brooks. Unbelievable racing there. But he comes across the line and goes into the final. Igor Fraga wins. But the Nations Cup World Final event here in Paris is about to get underway and Mick is out, leads the field down towards the first corner. World Tour 1 in Paris. Grand final is go. Igor Fraga, meanwhile, trying to find his way past Anthony Duval. He's trying to pressure the Frenchman into a mistake. He's going to be side by side with him as we go to the left hand. A brilliant traction from Wong and Nicolas Rublev. Bit of a slip and a slide, a bit of an off track excursion there for the Hong Kong driver. And that was all that Nicolas Rublev needed. Mick Gazal made a pit stop and goes in on the front. A bit of a mistake there. So Rublev going one lap longer than Mick Gazal him. What about Rubelard? And he exits the pit lane. Where's Mikazal? There he is. It's been a brilliant strategy call there for Nicholas Rubelard. Hold on. Oh. Rubelard with a big slide out of the final corner. Is that going to compromise his run? Look at how much he closes up under the brakes there. Does Mikazal? This is so close between them. Meanwhile, we come onto the final lap here at Paris. And it's Rubelard that takes us across. Kazal second one for Patrick Bajan. Patrick Bajan seems to have just fallen off the back here. Mikazal looking pretty set for second place. But 
Nicolas Rubilar. Stand up and take a bow. What a performance from the Chilean driver. He wins the grand final here in Paris. An absolutely fantastic result for Nicolas Rubilar. He qualifies for the world final in November.